Good morning, everyone. My name is Anne-Marie Hoftilling, and I am the co-founder of Story Imprinting, where we teach companies and individuals the power of storytelling, influence, and leadership. So today I want to talk about something pretty specific, and that is addressing your inner critic and phantom critics. And I say phantom critics because what I see a lot in my practice, and I've been doing this for well over a decade, is the way in which people's concern for even potential judgment becomes this enormous self-constructed obstacle that keeps them from joy, that keeps them from taking risks, and that keeps them from being their authentic self. So let's sort of deconstruct this for a minute. I think this stuff comes from our culture, from our family of origin, from our work experience, from our personality. All of these things converge to determine what we believe we're entitled to, um, the choices we believe we're allowed to make, and the concern and or reverence we place in others' opinion of ourselves and or a toxic internal critic that is telling us all the ways in which we are not enough. And so what I want to tell you is sitting from where I sit as what I consider a very seasoned trainer and coach who, have, who has had the privilege of working with people at a very, very high level, that this crosses every segment of humanity, that no amount of money, talent, experience, competence can keep you from these critics if it is a thing that you struggle with. So a lot of times, one of the strategies that I see people employ is, oh, I'll get another certification. I'll go get another degree. Once I hit this milestone, then I can ask for a raise. Once I make this amount of money, then I can do this thing. Now, there are really good strategic reasons why you may choose those things, and I'm not suggesting that there aren't. What I am saying is too often, it's a way in which we keep recreating another hurdle for us to jump over to be worthy, another hurdle for us to clear to be deserving. And what I often will say is I sometimes encounter people who their internal, oh, sorry, there's some construction going on outside, so I'm going to get a little louder up in here. What I see is very often all of those things are a way in which people weaponize phantom critics and inner critics to keep them from their own joy. And to really embrace who you are and make choices based on what will make you happy and what will make you whole is an act of bravery. It really is because there's a lot of pressure to conform. There's a lot of pressure to be what you believe people wish you to be. And so all of this is to say that I think that if you're finding that your energy is depleted, that you suffer from intermittent, the intermittent kind of, you know, ennui or malaise or depression, some of it might be worth examining what are the ways in which I am abandoning myself? What are the ways in which I am turning over my power to an opinion that does not serve me, whether that's internal or external? And how am I consuming poison that is making me sick and don't even realize it? And who might I be if I took these risks and I let these things go? And so I'm not at all suggesting these things are easy things to do. They're not. They require work. You are not going to wake up tomorrow and start making big giant choices that defy everything you've ever done in your past. What this is worthy of is rigorous, emotional, an intellectual examination. What these questions are worthy of is your attention because you, in the body you are in, in this moment in time, no matter where you came from, no matter what you have achieved or not achieved, are worthy of happiness and joy and to be sitting inside of your purpose and your own joy and to wake up in a way that feels connected to what matters deeply to you and is aligned with your values. If these are things that resonated with you, I would love to hear from you. I would love for you to drop something in the comments. I would love for you to reach out. 
Um, these videos are really based on my own experience of coaching and training and what I see come up again and again and again. This is something that is wildly common and I'll be talking more about. If there are certain questions you have that you would like me to cover in a video, please drop it in the comment below and I will do my best to address it either in a comment or a video. Thank you very much for spending some time with me this morning and I hope this finds you incredibly well. Take good care.